this guy came out of nowhere and he had a turn, put a tourniquet on my leg to stop the bleeding. And I think without him, I probably wouldn't have survived. That's so they said. And I was brought to Richmond University Medical Center in critical condition. Life was very active. I would go to the gym, played a lot of golf. I'm a golf fitting professional, so that was my business, the recreational field. I would go to the Jersey Shore with my wife, I would go to the beach, a lot of activities. So I was involved in a, an accident. I was a pedestrian crossing the street on Richmond Avenue and Gothels Road North, close to where I live. I was actually walking to the bus stop, express bus, to go into the city, to work actually, on my way to work. And I stepped off the curb and in the crosswalk and I had the light to tell me to walk and then I kind of glanced to my left and I got hit by a box truck. When I had woken up, the, the probably that same night, the pain of them changing the dressing, and this was like the two weeks, was probably the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. The pain was so bad I would shout at the top of my lungs from them changing the dressing. At that point, I tried to look up a doctor that would do a revision amputation because I know, I knew at that point I probably need more kind of surgery. And I found Dr. Rosbrook on social media, who does a process called osseointegration. She hasn't done that many, and osseointegration is a bone anchored implant that's put into the tibia or the or the or above the knee amputees. It would be a femoral implant. Mine's into the tibia, because I'm below the knee. I saw with him, consulted, and said I was a great candidate for it. You know, even with the leukemia, as long as my bloods were good, we're good to go. And I said, let's go for it. It feels like I'm kind of a pioneer in my own little area of, of the surgery. I'd like to get the word out there, and I know there's a lot of other amputees, especially on Staten Island, that I know probably have never even heard of osseo integration because it's so new. And now I'm three months out from the surgery, and people look at me and say, gee, I, I wouldn't even be able to tell that you're an amputee. Walking with no pain, and you also have this thing called uh, proprioception where you're able to actually feel what you're standing on. So I know if I'm on grass, I know if I'm standing on pavement. The other day it snowed, I put my foot on snow and I could feel the snow like it was my regular leg. So it's 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 been amazing so far. Now go go without the crutch. Or just like, like normal, like, wow. Wait till you see yourself. Wow. <laughs> Shocked.